space of uh, a few days. You must be very pleased with today's result. Yeah, great to get back-to-back -back wins, uh, especially on the road. You know, it's been a tough schedule this week, and we've had to organise it and, and make sure the the rest has been right, um, the training's been right, and uh, just really, again, um, pleased for the boys overall. Uh, pleased for our fans that travelled 600 today. Yep. Just pleased for everybody, all of us together. Brilliant. We always talk about what impact the fans can make, but I got the impression the second half in particular today, they made a you know, a manifest, a, a, a genuinely important contribution to the win. Tim, they outsung the opposition. It was like being at home today. And uh, our change room, just to give you a, an insight, our change room's just around the corner there. They were here, just where I am, and they were singing and, and we're in the change room, you could feel it. And um, you know, it was one of the things I put in our pre-match prep that we'll have 600 here today. Uh, you know, uh, driving us on. So you, you, we need to give them a performance. And uh, you know, you, you know, this lot don't give in. No. Keep working for each other, and they find a way. We found a way again today. Yeah, I mean, you started really brightly. Maybe just dipped a little bit towards <coughs> half time. What was said at half time to to regalvanise them, to reboot them, to get them to, 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 to produce that victory, John? Yeah, to give you an insight, Tim, I, I thought we started really, really well on the front foot and. And as soon as we scored, uh, we weren't doing the things that we asked them. And I don't want to say too much there because uh, that just wasn't a normal 4-4-2 today. Um, we played the, the wingers inside their shape, really, just to give you an insight. And um, it was nearly a 4-2-2-2, uh, to be honest. And uh, we felt that it worked dividends. But what happened was the, the wide men got too high and um, the spaces were, were easy for them to counter on us. And, uh, yeah, we... Uh, that's why we, we sat back and we were a bit passive. And second half, we asked for a bit more calm on the ball and to be better on the ball. And we're so much better on the ball and we controlled the game more in the second half compared to um, the goal they scored in the first half. And then uh, a couple of efforts that they had through our own mistakes. Then thereafter, they really had not much. Oh, I, I remember a, a shot from 30 yards, yeah. probably. But um, but then we marauding with a, a, a fair few counter attacks, at, you know, um, nearly got in on a few occasions there. Nicky was unlucky to, on his one v one, but I thought he led the line brilliantly well. We've asked a lot of him, uh, worked with him, talked with him, and I thought it was a great response from Nicky Kabamba today. Yeah, he was given the chance today, and he, he really took it, didn't he? Yeah, I thought he did. I thought he he he, he held things up brilliantly well. He, he, he brought the midfield into play, he won important fouls, um, and I, I feel the goal will come for him. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Um, what about winning today without certain key players being available? You didn't have a Tete, you didn't have a Williams. How important is it to win without necessarily having everybody available that you want to have available? Yeah, I, I think the really pleasing thing was, um, bless him, Benny went down in the, in the warm-up today, so... We only had with the with the goal kick. We only had three outside uh, outfield uh, subs on the on the bench today, and it was um, <laughs> that were fit basically. So you know that was tough. Uh, and then for for Nicky to perform, like I said, was really good. Uh, and then Dylan to come on and and wrap around like he did. And Jordan won a couple of great headers. And you know that's so pleasing as a manager when you get that response from players. And um, you know, it, really, really important for us. And the response at the end, I saw this when you beat Orient a couple of weeks ago, the players just so elated to win, lots of hugs and, and lots of fist pumps in the in the centre circle and then in the Cobbers half. They really care, don't they? Ah, but you, you talk about care, you look at the work rate, you look at the attitude, not to let your teammate down, um, to cover and support your teammate, um, run beyond the opposition, work, outrun the opposition. Um, you know, it, yeah, they. Um, I know what they can do, but they keep surprising me as well. So it's um, it's good. It's good. So four consecutive wins, you consolidated in second place. You closed the gap on Forest Green. You've been held today. Nicely set up now for the final game before Christmas against Barrow. Hopefully, a bumper crowd to cheer you on at six weeks. Oh, wouldn't that be great, huh? You know, um, we've got a strong home record in the in the league, and uh, it'd be great to to pack out. Six fields and let you know, humbling just to have that today. The, the 600 there today, um, driving us on, 
that's six and a half thousand. Let's pack it out on Saturday. It'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Yeah, and you're smiling, John. It's been a good week for you, hasn't it? A couple of away wins and an Ashes win for Australia against England as well, <laughs> well just to cap <laughs> things off. Yeah, I, I, I won't <laughs> mention the Ashes because I, I, um, I don't want to get too much stick. We're in a good moment with Northampton and uh, look, it, it has been good, um, but we can't get carried away. We're, we've got to keep working and, and, and keep that, that attitude to, to do whatever it takes. And uh, we will as a group, um, definitely. So. Just a final word about availability next weekend. You're missing a raft of players today, uh, Tete and McWilliams among them. Any chances of any of those being available to you we'll this see, time next week? We'll see. You had, you had Benny to the mix today, and yeah. that, that goes up to seven out today. So for seven players in our squad to be out, uh, and and then for the players to to give that performance and uh, just really pleasing. So we'll see. That, we've got to let the dust settle. How hard Michael can work in that that physio room. Let's see and do a bit of praying as well. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Thanks.